Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cyber Gamer Advanced Warfare Championship Series CGP League of Finals Round 1 match. This match will feature Plant Train Smite Freak taking on the team of Integral Nation. Now, the lineups might surprise you a little bit. For Mind Freak, you've got their core lineup. Shocks being able to come on and play finally after not competing in the pay to play. And then for Integral Nation, they're usually back and back, of course, instead of Beast. Beast was playing in a CGP team. And another CGP team, so he's not eligible to compete in this team for the final series. So Bakabek is taking that spot in. But we've got Hardpoint Retreat over, starting on up here in our, once again, finals round one match between these uh, these two teams. And of course, no overlay uh, as I've done goof. I forgot to update it at the very beginning. So I do apologize for that. But, you know, you're going to be seeing these teams swarm over. And it is going to be Mind Freak. Who I uh, do have, uh, you know, that early advantage in terms of points. You know, 20 points to four. The hard point now, oh, now five. The hard point now rotated over to that total side. There's going to be Buzzin, who is going to be there. And he's just going to be getting a couple of nades over. A nice team down there that the uh, the squad from uh, Integral were, uh, sorry, the squad from Mindfuck were able to get. You know, Integral Nation, unfortunately, just getting shut down at the end of uh, at the end of that one. So that's unfortunate there for them. Over there should be updated in just a minute as well. Multitasking skills on point right now. You do have Buzzin. Being able to pick off a nice double kill, you're also going to be seeing the other squad of uh, Integral, uh, you know, trying to push into this hard point, but they're not being uh, given an opportunity to. Mind Freak are not letting them get an edge right now, as you do have the scoreline 60 points to 5, and uh, it is definitely going to, uh, to, to be a, t a tough one here for... For Integral Nation, I mean, with the lead that's already been had from Mind Freak, 71 points to 5 right now. We are going to uh, to be having the, uh, yeah, the, the, the team of Mind Freak just setting up for this next hard point. They're, they're playing it on point right now, of course, finishing off in that pay-to-play ODC uh, with, the, with the placement of fourth, their first placement outside of the other uh, the, the, outside of first for pay to play ODCs they're going to be too happy about that and they want to uh, to, to strike back with a little bit of a vengeance in uh, in in that regards now we've got um you know once again both these teams competing you know a good scoreline here from Mind Freak up early and we uh we you know, we've got Mind Freak about to hit the triple digits in, in just a moment they've always got three players in these hard points and uh we are seeing what these are. There we go. There we go. We're going to be seeing that triple digit mark roll on through from this hard point. 105 points and counting to six. A, an extremely, extremely dominant uh, performance that they are currently putting on. And I mean, I definitely did not expect this after Integral Nation just took out uh, the, the pay to play finals. I mean, I know replacing Beastly with Bakabek is. Yeah, Definitely going to change something up it, 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 within the team. Of course, considering you know this placing a core member, I didn't expect it to, to impact this much into uh, into this game. I mean, they they literally just on on fire is basically the way to put it. But I mean, it's only been three and a half minutes. It can't still answer back. But let's see what they can uh, possibly do to 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 do said answering back here with Chilean. On your screen, being able to pick off a nice couple of kills there. Fate also will pick off one. Same with damage. Damage will fall in turn to one of the players from Mind Freak there. And you're going to be seeing Chilean right now getting off the assist on one. As 112 points to 33. They managed to get a qu quite a good total off that uh, off that hard point. But, you know, it's it's about to rotate over onto the hotel side right now. Where Mind Freak have that control. Fighter is going to be pushing up to uh, try and contest the players that are there. He'll take one, but he will fall shortly after that one. And uh, we will be seeing Bakabek take down Shocks as well. So I'm on board with Buzzin as he's looking to make a little bit of a, a sneaky approach there. Just on the jump up, just jumping up and down. And you're getting those shots, and he will get shot up from the back of the stairs. Dead will clean that player up. Uh, sorry, Fighter will clean that player up. As Shocks also takes down one dead, sees one over in the hotel. So he pulled that one out as he'll pick off another. And they're just you know, getting those points there for themselves here in this hotel. Hard point ran out of arrows. Put out the combat knife, not too sure. But, uh, you know, decided to try and pick up a weapon, I suppose. Just didn't exactly work out uh, to, to his advantage. And uh, you are going to be seeing that uh, five minute countdown you know we've reached the halfway point here in this map in terms of the time uh time limit 
And uh, we are going to be seeing this hard point rotate back over to the courtyard. So we've, we've done a full set of hard point rotations. Now we're going to be resetting back and going for our second set. As the team of IN do have this uh, court hard point down with three players in this one. There's going to be Fighter contesting one. He'll get the first kill. Now looking for a second. We'll be able to uh, pick off the kills. Is dead as he picks off two fighter. Got the capture points though. 23 to 16 for him. Dead's on 29 and 13. As you see him on that three streak at the moment. Doesn't know where one of these players is in the doorway. We'll spot another. We'll get shut down. Buzz is going to be getting these points though with that bow 27 in hand. This is where it all started for them here, Mind Freak. At the beginning of this court hard point, they just started off with that momentum and got an incredible lead. And they've been seemingly doing the same here. 100 points the difference between these two right now. As we do have Dens getting the shots in. Buzzard will get dropped, as, uh, will drop one as well as Dens makes it a double. He'll also fall back and back, being the one to get the double kill. 153 to 56. The hard point now rotating down to the turtle. Let's see what IN can do. In this one, as Fate in the in the hotel will pick one before getting dropped back at them. We'll look to push, but he'll fall as well. Chilean will uh, we'll get shot out and uh, damage right now will fall. So Dens will be on the turtle side and uh, apparently going to be dying. So let's see what uh, what Shocks can do as he turns. No, he's going to die as well. Chilean, no, he's dead. Damage, what can he do? Can he stay alive? 30 seconds still with this hard point. Going to be having one getting taken down. The second one will take him down. And uh, pushing over through. That was dead. So you got shut down there by Chile. You see the kill feed just lighting up in both colors. Being a multi-color phenomenon there. As Chile just continuing on that spree. Getting two. Getting three. Make that four. As 173 to 81 still is that scoreline. Three minutes still on that clock. And uh, you know, we'll be able to uh, continue over to this... Uh, to this lobby side will be IN setting up on this one now it's quite a big score line but it's definitely one that is possible if they can keep their uh, control of these hard points he'll turn around and take one down big Chilean and he'll get the assist on another Chilean just on a six streak right now and you notice the kill feed just continuing on in red there but Chilean will drop same with damage Fate is there though taking down one and taking down the second as well as he goes on through to his death through the doorway Shocks will be here getting these points and he's missing a couple of shots, a little bit of those shaky shots, getting him killed. Buzzin will be getting the points though, so that's what they're going to be looking for on the bright side. As the scoreline, still 85 points, the difference. Closing on in though a little bit, but still in the lead of Mind Freak with 125 points still on the board. We are going to be seeing Dents try to pick off a couple, getting taken down two kills away from his 40 bomb right now. Of course, this is just a standard the best of five series, uh, and you know, Mind Freak just putting to work why they are, why they want to be running strong for our CGP League fighters. Of course, this is a double elimination bracket finals. If you were paying attention to the broadcast earlier on, it had the bracket on your screen there. Whereas the faction took out Avant 3 0 earlier on. You know, the winner of this match will play on the faction, the loser will play on Avant, win one series, and you guaranteed yourself in the money. Continue winning, and you can uh, be in the share of the uh, you know, bigger share of the prize for four thousand dollars. As we do have fighter, just, uh, just getting some shots in here over the bar side. Two hundred three points, and counting to hundred and ten. One minute fourteen still on the clock. Fighter just jumping up and picking off a kill every single time. He does not even care. He doesn't want to share the kills to his teammates, but they're going to be getting kills either way. And you're going to be having Chile just forcing his way over into the bar. Now, there's only nine seconds remaining here over into this bar side. So the teams are not even going to be wasting their time over that scrap time. That's going to be getting that double kill. You're going to be having shocks here on the hotel. And we are going to be having him getting those first points off that one as well. So 30, 35 seconds is all that is needed for them to secure the victory here with 40 seconds remaining. I mean, it does seem like they're going to be winning one of two ways, but 100% yeah, the, they're going to be winning, but it's going to be whether they win via time or via score. It does seem at this case it could be via the score limit here. The way it is going to be a close call. Shocks here will get taken down. So marks my word for that one. Fighter in this hard point will uh, be trying to contest Chile. Chile will walk away with that one, say with fate. And it does seem like they will have that control for the final moments. Either way, Mind Freak will take out map number one here in this best of five series. Of course, no continuations here. Mind Freak 
go up one to zero here in the scoreline. And uh, yeah, they'll go up in, in this one looking for map number two. Of course, it will be a search and destroy. And we'll see exactly what map that uh, that will be in just a moment. There will be a search and destroy on Detroit. So we'll take a short break and we'll be back soon right after that. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Search and Destroy on Detroit. This is our CGP Finals Round 1 match between Plantronics Mind Freak and Integral Nation. Currently, the overall series score stands at 1-0 to, to Plantronics Mind Freak. Can they keep it up, though? That is the question. We've got the attacking round here for the Integral Nation side. And they're, yeah, they're going to be running this bomb over onto the B side of the map. Of course, we're going to tweet out the stream and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, we're, we're going to be seeing them yeah, just look over and want to contest this B side. Shocks will take down Chilean for an early play here, though, as Fate will be over onto the bomb side. Now, he's starting this play, but he pulled out. You know, he knew there was a player somewhat there, but he's going to decide to risk it there with his teammate now trying to cover him. That's going to be back and back. He's going to be watching that doorway as well. He's going to be coming back and rotating back to cover that one at the same time as you're going to be seeing the bomb now play. So it's a 4v3 situation. The players just near now need to be careful. Cook Nade will, uh, will cover out that corner. No one will be there. You can see Fate, though, does try to get a couple of shots in. Unfortunately, he didn't rush the shot and wasn't able to clean up the kill. Damage will be taken out. Bakabek takes down Buzzin. Fighter takes down Fate. And that leaves Bakabek all alone in a 1v3 situation. He's up in the corner. But, uh, you know, he's only able to take down one before he does get shut down. And it's going to be the first round to the team of Mind Freak with that defuse completed. And uh, we will be seeing they, uh, they they go up on the scoreboard to reflect as such. So you know, right now, let's see if uh, let's see if they can keep up with their attack round coming up next. I mean, we saw Detroit earlier played in the pay to play. We saw some interesting moves and some interesting plays there, of course. But you know, it, it, and we, we might see some more composed, more structured, more bomb forgetfulness. That's always a thing. And uh, you'll see someone maybe looking to rotate back eventually after this initial uh, sniper hype has died down. Of course, that player will uh, be buzzing to, to pick that one up. And you are going to be seeing Fighter going to be cooking some nades over onto Green. He will be able to pick up the kill. Dead center there onto Bakabek. And uh, you will now be seeing that as a 3v2 situation. So they've got the lead, they've got the advantage, and they've got the bomb. Pushing over through to this uh, A side of the map. Getting this bomb planted. It is now up to Chilean and Fate. Chilean here just over onto uh, the screens at the moment. Spots one on the main street. That's dense. And we also do have, of course, Fate highlighted there on the, uh, on the A street there as well. The A alley. Will he go over to try and contest? Yes, he will in the hospital. He will get taken out. Chilean's now in the same footsteps. Chilean's going to go for the same move. Going to get a couple of shots out. Player for Mind Freak does pull out. And uh, he's playing it smart. He's playing it to stay alive. And he managed to get out of the hospital in one piece. Chilean running out of time. 1v2 situation. Bob is going to be playing in the amputation side for Mind Freak as they hold that yellow side of the map. He's going to need to go for a defuse now. Not going to have enough time. Now they're going to pick off that kill. They're going to make it 2-0. to zero. And they are, um, yeah, going to be going up in the... Uh Scoreboard to reflect as such. Five to zero though for Fighter. Just stunning me straight in, in, in the words right there. Five to zero has not died in these two rounds. The only player left in the game who has not done so. All the other Mind Freak players have gotten at least a kill each with some more points on the board for assists and plants. Whereas the uh, team of Integral Nation, when you look at it right now, damage on zero points overall. Fate's been able to get an assist and a, uh, a bomb plant to his name. But, uh, yeah, it's still going to be tricky stuff for Integration. Especially with the nades blowing up Fate from the inside and just making him pray a little bit harder next time to not face his wrath. But Chilean seems to, uh, to be getting things done correctly. Shutting down Dens. Nearly getting shut down himself, but being able to uh, at least push forward in that regard. It's a 3 3 situation. And uh, we are going to be having the bomb still in the hands of Chilean. So, going to be going over to this B-side bomb. Uh, they, back of just going to be watching that side. Damage does take down Shocks. The Buzzin takes down Damage. Able to go through into the Atlas first. 2v2 situation. Buzzin looking like he wants to poke out. And oh, the shot there from Buzzin! Shuts it down. Chilean 
Levy back it back once again in a 1v2 situation. Can he take it though? That is the question as he swaps out to the bow. 23 seconds. He's got the bomb in hand. He's just up to him. Does he want to go A? Does he want to go B? Does he want to go just for the player's kills? He's about to go right next to someone and uh, you know with that going to be taking them down is the players from Mind Freak and uh, we are going to be having fighter yeah on this round ending kill camp being able to secure that lead and uh, you know making it three to zero for themselves three to zero halfway there they've been playing extremely dominant we saw it there in that uh, in that uh, hard point as my mind just went completely blank for a moment and now you saw it here in the search and destroy they've been playing on point but uh you know it all could change search and destroy chilean taking down fighter buzzing on your screens with the more thermal scope in hand with the bomb in hand as well might be thinking to maybe change approach and go to this b side just jumping around everywhere i want to use his uh, double jump it seems just just hobbling and hobbling over Still looking for someone. Spots damage, jumping on over. Will he go for the shot though? Yes, he will, and yes, he will get it. Nicely done to even up the overall numbers. Three v three situation. Now he's going to be maybe looking to to uh, to manhandle his way here over into the uh, hospital side. He will be able to shut down Chilean as well. Spots fate in the back. They're dead. We'll try to contest as Shocks now contest that one for him. Uh, we're going to be having back and back just running straight past one. The players turn around through the hospital. I thought Shox was about to turn around there, but it didn't seem to be the case. Buzzard is going to be playing to this bomb. He has played to this bomb. Correction. Now, back and back has had a 1v3 in the first round, then a 1v2 in the third round. Now it's the fourth round. It's a 1v1. If any situation is him, he, here for him to take, it will be now. Can he take down Buzzard? He's going to be pushing through the window here as he circles through. Gets spotted there. Goes for the pro. Goes for the drop shot. 20 seconds still remaining. He has a little bit of wiggle room there for everything. And a couple of shots go around the day. Oh, stun him. Nearly takes him down at the same time. He's over onto the bomb itself. 12 seconds remaining. It has to make a decision. Will he want to go for the, uh, the defuse just yet? Buzzard. No, he gets stuck on the... No! He gets stuck on the bomb site. He had the play. He had a second of leeway to round around the bomb. But he won't be able to do it. And he gets shut down. And he gets... Maybe not killed, but he loses the round and therefore makes it 4-0 to zero right now. Not a, uh, not a great thing for them leading into, uh, into this match, but that is okay because we do have the, uh, you know, the, the next round starting off, the Integral Nation. Let's see if uh, they can maybe put one on the board, you know, maybe show a fighting spirit in terms of the overall scoreboard. Let's see what they can do. We've got back a bit, just, you know, just checking around, just chilling everywhere with the bomb site itself. Damage will take down one, same with shocks. Taking out individual others. Fate will take down shocks. Buzzin will take down damage. Back a bit, we look to take down Buzzin. Now it's a 1v2 this time. Mind freak in the one. And uh, we will be seeing Fighter. Taking uh, yeah, taking precautions here, not wanting to shoot just yet. And uh, he's going to be looking to, to go to this B-side. If he just pokes around, he could have a good opportunity. Sees one, but no, 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 no. He will get taken down. That has allowed the team of uh, of, of Integral Nation to, to get one round on the board. But, you know, maybe one round won't phase them just, uh, just yet. But... Um, you know, fate, being able to you know, see his perspective here on the round in the kill game, being able to pick off those kills. And that makes it 4-1. to one. So, you know, 4-1 to one, still very, 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 very early days. Uh, round 6 is going to be coming your way right now. Mindfreak going to be on the attacking round. And we are going to be seeing the bomb going to get picked up there, as per normal there, by Buzzing. I'm going to be on board with Fighter. I thought it was going to be going Lone Wolf over to the A side. Didn't seem to be the case. We're going to be just pushing aggressively here over to this B side. Fortunately, one of the players decided to blindside Fate. A couple of shots do go out, though, as Fate is on the other side of the, uh, the, the 
Oh, there's going to be a player to left spot him, and he will be able to pick up the kill there, taking down damage. Fate's going to get taken down as well, but it does come with a little bit of a trade there. Shocks, of course, as you notice in the beginning of the round, getting shut down. A little bit of pre-shots there from Fight. A little bit jumpy. A little bit jumpy, but of course, he has a right to, to be so. His back pick is there over at that lockers. Now, he gets tags with his uh, EMP, I do believe it was, or you know, maybe not. Either way, he does have, you know, does have his team, actually, be able to pick off Fight up there. So, bring it into a 2v2 situation. Buzzard and Dense taking on back and back and Chile, and the bomb has been planted here over on to this A side of the map. Now it's up to them, you know, to you know win that 2v2, get that defuse, get another round on the board for them. We'll see if they'll be able to do so. And uh, we'll see in the next 30 seconds as we have the players swarming over to this bomb site. I'm on board with the back of it because now is the last one alive. He does spot one, tries to get a couple of shots in. He's just going to try and run away. We'll be able to get the 1v1 though. Back into a 1v2 situation. He won't be able to uh, to get this one. And he's really not having the best of luck here in these clutch situations. He will get taken down. That's going to make it 5 to 1 right now. Plantronics Mind Freak in the lead in this overall series. Uh, sorry, map map definitely map and uh they only need one more round to secure the map take a lead in the series that time I said it correctly two to two to zero and then therefore only need one more map to go from there either way five one and uh you know, just checking quickly on what the map would be for the map number three capture flag and capture flag on ascent just for uh with general knowledge, we do have back a bit getting shut down early though, as Mindfreak playing an extremely aggressive round there. Do spot one over in the yellow window, and that was Fighter. Will he risk it going again though? I want to see Fate's perspective just to uh to gather that one. Nade's gonna be going in through. The frag grenade won't pick off any. And uh just pokes in and out, pokes in and out. Shots from Fate won't connect. Damage and Chilean's shots will though. Being able to take out two more players, leaving Shocks the last one alive in a 1v3 situation. Now, he makes it a 1v2 because he takes down one. It was the player over onto that yellow side window, one of the players that were there uh, a moment beforehand. We'll be poking out to see Fate. Fate knows he's coming. And Fate will take him down. 5-2. to two. Second round from Integral Nation. We'll be able to uh, clean up on here on the scoreboard. You're about to see this round in the kill cam from Fate's perspective. We're just waiting up. You know, just waiting. Spotted someone. Able to take him down as Shocks went to pull out. And uh, yeah, it is going to uh, to be five to two. Still, only one more round is needed for the team of Mind Freak to secure the map, and we'll see if that is going to happen. Maybe on their next round, it's a grenade. You know, can just still constantly fire back. You know, on their attack, on their defense, and continue things from there. That's what they're really going to be hoping for. Mind Freak on the attack are going to be looking to close things out and see if they can do it. Shock's going to be mixing things up by picking up the bomb. It does have the more thermal scope, as a lot of the players of this uh, map are currently holding. But maybe looking over on player, they're going to be pushing aggressively. There's going to be fighter. As I look to find his name to swap over to him, that is uh, maybe looking to get shown in the back. Going to be a play on the side there, and that is going to be the Mind Freak team taking down Chile. And damage will take down Shocks there as well. Play contest in the middle of the map. That is going to be fight trying to go for these kills. There you go. That's going to be the map. And uh, we had a whole bunch of action just happened there in that final round. We're about to see this round in the kill cam to see how exactly it went down. Maybe from a different perspective. Maybe not. We're about to see in a moment. There we go. Different perspective this time from Buzzard. As I, you know, no damage is just running over into the middle of the map. He got shut out. He got uh, shut down. And that makes Might Freak in the lead 2-0 to zero in the series. Of course, once again, next is going to be Capture the Flag on Ascend. And uh, yeah, that's going to be coming up next. So stay tuned. We'll be back after this short break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here to the Sub Gamer Advanced Warfare Championship Series CGP Finals Round 1 match between Planet Shockings Mind Freak and Integral Nation. Currently, the uh, the series score stands at 2 to 0 in favor of the team of uh, Mind Freak. And the one more map to secure themselves the series and advance on to uh, you know, get in the money. Uh, for, for this CGP league, of course, guaranteeing themselves at least a top three placement in that regards. Um, we're going to be seeing shocks on your screens getting taken down. Fighter going to be trying to run a flag, and it doesn't seem like he will be there to capture that one. And not even uh, 40 seconds gone by, they're able to capture that, uh, that, that flag. Nicely done to make it a 1-0 to zero lead for themselves. We're going to be seeing uh, Fighter just looking to pick up another and go for another run. I mean, one just wasn't enough for him. And he's going to be looking for maybe to, to maybe go for a second. Going to have one there to contest with him outside the doors, though. And they will shut him down and returning that flag in the process. Now, with that, 
you know, Munfreak are going to need a push on up to, to go for another flag, but they can't forget about playing a little bit of defense because there's three players from Integral Nation all out there. Base Dens does wrap a little bit around, but it does seem like Shox has everything covered as, uh, you know, he takes down two. Fate will still take him down, but... And we'll see what he'll be able to do. Play He's running through circle room and run through the middle of the street. Here is a buzzer gets put down there by Fate. Face is going to be waiting to get that capture in, and he will be able to get that one down for himself as well. Three minutes, 30 still on the clock here, and uh, Fate will get shut down. Flag will get picked up here by Bakabek. And we will be seeing him trying to go for a little bit of a run. He's going to be looking to go over through the elevator side of things, and maybe, you know, Hopefully his team can, can intercept the buzzer and not make it uh, go for too much of a stalemate. One player still going to be waiting at the back there of Yellow. And that's going to be Fighter running down the ramp. He does get spotted there by Bakabek. Unfortunately, not being able to put the shots in. Three players down here from the team of Integral make that all four. The flag won't be returned just yet, though. As uh, Buzzin might have to wait a little bit longer. It gets picked up once again there by Damage. Denz will be going for a run, though, to try and see if he can get that returned. And uh, we are going to be seeing him... Being contested by two players and being uh, shot out there by one of them, being Bakibek, who, uh, you know, who has been stuck with defense duty. Buzzard still playing his defensive role, will be forced to uh, into submission. Getting taken down, this is loud damage to go on in for this capture, making it 2-1. to one. Showing some fighting spirit right now is Integral Nation, as you have 2 minutes 13 on the clock. Damage. Going to be over onto the middle bends right now. Last alive for his team. Mindfreak are running through this flag. Through the, uh, the, the pathways here. And unfortunately, does get taken down. Allowing Mindfreak to get an easy capture in. Making it into a 2-2 uh, two -two score. Of course, lucky uh, they were able to take it down. Fighter there. He was setting up for a relay capture. We are going to be having, though, uh, you know, with this 2-2. Two -two. You know, Fate going to be on your screens over on the, you know, on, on the landing. Trying to get one, looking for a second, getting tagged in the second, getting shot on the side, still being alive, and uh, finally getting shut down. And that one, 90 seconds still remaining uh, in this one. Mind Freak, Fighter on your screen, oh, sorry, Fighter, able to take down one before getting shut down. Back a back on your screen. As uh, you will be seeing him just going over through the maze here, looking to go for a flag pickup. Dent's going to be over there on the side. No one spotted him just yet, though. We can, of course. It's really easier to spot people out on our screen because of the, you know, the COD vision and the, uh, the, the, the outline that it does have, red or, uh, red or blue. But, um, you know, for the players, it could be quite difficult, especially when they're playing dead and watching over some surrounding areas either way. 2-2. Two, two. 56 seconds in the clock on the first half of play. Damage. Going to be looking to, to try and play a little bit of, uh, of defense. Players from Minecraft just surrounding out. A little bit of triangle formation. Then going to be coming in through the back. Oh, nearly falling off the map there. A little bit of slow motion uh, suspense there with what seemed like a little bit of lag. Either way, 35 seconds. And uh, we will see. Fighter just going to be creeping around through the side. But it is going to be the team of Integral that are going to be over through the uh, the, the main side. Going to be chilling. Going to look at maybe going for another flag call. Going to get taken down. A fighter's going to be with one flag. Back and back with another. Back and back's going to get shut down. Over through the side will be one of the players from Integral Nation. Shutting down. Fighter returning that flag. And or actually, maybe not returning it. Now returning it. Shots will try to pick that one up. Unfortunately, wasn't able to make anything happen. That is going to, uh, to be 2 2. And that is going uh, to be the end of the first half of standard play here for this game. Now, what this means is that we're going to be entering into the second half of this capture the flag. The scores are going to be tied. The sides are going to swap and we're going to have another five minutes to do it all again. Will that be the final five minutes of this game? I'm not quite sure of that just yet. But, you know, Integral Nation, they can show some uh, fighting spirit here. If they can, you know, put their minds to it, do what they've been doing, just take it one step further and secure themselves a uh, overall map victory. Put a map on the board uh, for themselves. Who knows what could happen here for uh, for this one? We're going to be seeing fighter. We'll be trying to get a couple of shots in. We'll be able to take down Chile in there. Turns around, go, misses the belly, but we'll be able to pick off the kill in the end. Whatever floats your boat there, fighter, as uh, he will be uh, chased there by one. As I struggle to find the word. 
Bull gets shut down in the end. Stalk to the kill. As we have Dens now getting taken as well. Shock's going to be playing defense. Fighter off the spawn. He's going to be uh, maybe looking towards one. Down one of the micro players. I was searching the swap two getting taken down. Let's see what Chilean can do as he wraps around through the, uh, the corner side there. We'll be able to take it down one in the process. Flag picked up there by damage. Trying to try provide a little bit of cover there for his teammate. We'll be able to do so for the first part. The second part will get shut down here on the elevator side of things. Trying to circle and find another player. But Fate will be the one to pick up the kill in the end. It's actually Fate who takes down Chilean as well. As he circles for another. But every time, you know, every time one of the micro players gets one of the players from Instagram, there was always another player until that one point where they needed to be. Outside the other jump up to the maze, and you know, that's where the flag got returned, and that's where we're back to square one for both of these two teams. We have kills trading and contesting. Fate's going to be running the flag. Buzzards, sorry, Shock's got the other one. As our Fate will get shut down, the flag returns. Shock's going to, let's see where he's at, going to be on the underground passageways, and now going to be just going underground as he goes to uh, to re loop outside the elevator area, going over to corner. We'll have uh, one player there, two players there to contest with, but he's going to dash on in. There you go. He's going to be able to get that capture, making the overall count three to two. And that's all that is needed to uh, possibly secure them the overall victory here. Yeah, if they can just hold this one out, it could make all the difference. And uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. As we do have... The, uh, the squad of, uh, of Mind Freak, you know, they've got two players on defense, two players playing a passive offense. You know, they're, they're just really trying to waste time, secure themselves a victory, over a 3-0 series victory. Fighter able to pick off a nice double kill, Buzz and Wolf 4. Dense on your screen, just going to be tidying out a little bit, so I'm going to swap over to Chilean, who's going to play a little bit of defense, taking down one fate. Uh, he's not going to be the close player. Bakabek is going to be the close player. Entering outside through now into green. Going to get a couple of shots in. He'll get shot on the back. You see Mind Freak, you know, they're, they're playing their turtle strategy. It could, could work well for them if they can if they can work it well. If they can always pick off these kills. But it also could backfire if they all get taken down. That could be an easy flag capture for them. And, you know, you see them pushing on up. They work, work us, uh, focus on a couple more kills. You know, they, they push on up aggressively as a unit. And... There, and they just put the pressure on to Iron right now. Even if they drop a couple of lives, by the time Iron goes over to their base, they will respawn and they can regroup. That's the whole plan of attack that they've been doing, and they've been doing it successfully the last 90 seconds, but they need to make sure they can just hold it off. You see Denz, I've been on board with him for a specific purpose. He's not moving specifically to, to go anywhere forward because of the fact that he's just that defensive player. His team's going to cause a distraction. If needed, he's the last resort, and uh, you, know, you, you see him not really being that... Uh, effective at it with the players just running straight through over to green but his teammate was able to clean up using the, his destruction of the shots now shocks will just be trying to run this flag this could be the final now in the coffin can get it through in time doesn't seem to be the case buzzer will be able to pick off that kill Dens will pick up the flag and Dens will be able to secure that flag on in the guy who's been sitting at his base for the last three minutes able to get the flag capture in for his team now flag's going to get picked up right there in front of his nose, and he's going to get shut down as a result. Luckily, they got an extra flag cap in. Chilean should have a good run in for this. He's going to have two players that are contesting, but once again, the right, and that being the fighter. Fighter going to be able to get that return. Fate now is going to go for a pickup. Two flags, all the difference with 53 seconds. Could change hands and could tie things back up with the time remaining. But it's all about will it happen? Will it be the case? And uh, you know, this we just have to find out. 4 2 being the uh, overall score count. 37 seconds damage and uh, and back there running to, to, to making plays to run this flag should be good for this flag capture but with 25 seconds remaining mind freak no they can let that go not make any mistakes and set up for a defensive play let's see if they can make it happen though integral nation make the impossible a reality here one player will drop two player will drop 10 seconds remaining not enough time to run this flag. The players will drop eventually anyway. Chilean might have this flag, but he won't be able to run it in. That'll be Mind Freak Series 3-0 as they have secured themselves in the money here for our CGP League Finals. Taking out their round one match and now taking on in the next round of the competition. We'll be taking on next week, rather, the Faction AU. Integral Nation will now be forced to take on Avant Guard in the loser's bracket. Them still needing to win at least one series to guarantee themselves in the money. 
One more series for Mind Freak though, and they can guarantee themselves $1,200. I like to say one more, and they've won themselves $2,400. That is the end here for our production though. It's been a, definitely a long day. Congratulations, of course, to Mind Freak taking out the series. Congratulations to Integral for taking out the uh, the pay to play. And of course, congratulations to, while well, this was happening in the background, our, uh, our, our qualified our qualified players for our FIFA competition there at Vivid Sydney's Game On. Uh, Game on Interactive. Of course, being Mortician, coming in as first seed. Mash Brutato, second. Prodigy, third. And O Nunu Brew as, uh, as that fourth seed for that as well. That marks the end of our production here for today, though. Be sure to follow Cybergamer's social media outlets. You get our YouTube, youtube.com for us, cybergamer.com.au, which are rebroadcast from our midweek. We'll now go live after this production. Also, do have our Twitter at CG, CGXboxAU, our Facebook, facebook.com for us, network, and of course, this MOG.TV page. Much appreciated for all who follow slash subscribe. And yeah, I'm Mike Stone. Until next time, I'll catch you later.